I to send things over to First Alert Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget. Uh, there was a bit of a lull today, but uh, look at that. Let's enjoy that for it's now, exactly, right? <laughs> it's a nice break. Bring us to good pictures. Yeah, I, well, we need these good pictures because the other morning this tree was barely hanging on. Uh, as meteorologist Brittany Rainey was showing you, as these storms were just working their way through the severe weather and those hurricane force winds. So it's nice to see just a gentle breeze in Clyde Warren Park right now. 86 degrees southeast winds at 5 to 10. So we're trying to soak that up for today. I have alerts in place now. Actually, it's, it's not Memorial Day anymore, but alerts in place for Thursday and Friday for the potential of strong to severe storms on the way. It's been a while since I had to update their graphic because we've just been talking about storms one after the other. First alert satellite and radar combined shows that the activity is lifting its way to the northeast. We have some uh, fairly weather clouds moving their way through parts of North Texas. The radar right now, nice and quiet. Nothing going on. It will change through Thursday and Friday. Rounds of rain and storms on the way. Strong to severe storms are, go are going to be possible. Main threats, damaging winds, large hail, and I can't roll the chance now of some flooding because the ground's saturated. A lot of those big trees falling down because, yes, we had very strong winds, but also the ground's pretty saturated. Now, the severity of the storms depend on the previous complex of storms moving through. Told you that at the beginning of the newscast. So for tomorrow, slight risk of severe storms does include the 35 corridor and west. Then as we get closer towards uh, Friday, that's going to be shifting just a bit. First alert future cast shows several rounds of rain on the way for us. So here we are tomorrow morning at 5 in the morning. Most of North Texas, we are remaining nice and dry. By the time we get to about 7 to near about 10, this complex coming out of the northwest moves its way to the southeast, works over parts of the metroplex, then dies out. Depending on the instability that's left over from that first complex, we have another one coming into the area going into Thursday night. Our West Counties dry line storms trying to work their way in west east, riding on the northwest flow aloft. Another complex of storms late Friday and then uh, late Thursday and then into Friday. So for Friday, all of North Texas under that slight risk of any storms reaching severe limits. That's that level two out of five levels from the Storm Prediction Center. Another look at a different forecast model. This one's a bit more aggressive Thursday night into Friday morning, but it has that one complex moving through. Then as we go through the late morning hours into midday, this next complex riding its way on in right around the 35 quarter through the late morning hours into the early afternoon. That moves east, and then we have another one trying to move its way in late in the day on Friday. So we just have to watch these, and each complex is going to depend on how much is left or energy is left over from the one before. It is a hard forecast, so there's a lot of uncertainty with what's going on. 86 degrees is our temperature right now. Nothing uncertain about it. It's a nicer day today. Southeast winds at 12, gusting up to 17, holding on right now at DFW. Across the Metroplex, we're sitting in the mid 80s to even the low 90s in Mesquite. That's one outlier. We're at 85 in McKinney uh, to 83 in Stephenville to 86 in Athens. So I think most of us are sitting in the mid 80s. 80s. And uh, as we go through the remainder of the evening hours, we'll remain in the low 80s. No rain on the way for us. Uh, then going into tomorrow, rain chance is going up to 60 to then 70% for our midday. Our temperatures will struggle to warm their way into the low 80s. So just stay weather aware. We have alerts both days for Thursday and Friday, 82 degrees on Friday. I do want to point out, I don't have it yet. Watching Saturday to Sunday for the potential of more rounds of rain and storms on the way. Mid 80s for us. But then Ken and Karen going into next week, after we get through Monday to Tuesday, at least for right now, we dry out to a 20% precip chance by next Wednesday and high temperatures back to the low 90s. Wow. Really no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta wait till next week. Thank you, Scott. Yeah.